piece I dedicate to my friend Lily, um, who was an overseas contract worker in Taiwan. I don't know, what do you guys call it here when somebody's like a migrant worker? Yeah, is, that, is that what it's called here? Yeah, it's because probably a German word for it. This, is, is there a German word for this migrant worker? But, um, you know, in the case in Asia, you know, there's certain countries that are doing better economically than others, like Taiwan, Singapore, <coughs> South Korea, Japan. And of course, there's countries that are doing um, not as well economically, places like Vietnam, Sri Lanka, the Philippines. Um, in the case in Taiwan, there's a lot of young women that leave their families, that leave their homes in order to be able to make money to send back home. This is a familiar story, right? People have heard of this before, right? People have to leave home, make money, um, and send it back. Um, so when I was in Taiwan, I got to spend a lot of time with um, Lily, and we became really good friends. So this piece is for her. It's called Lily's Hands. Lily's hands are small, red, and cracked. She uses them to slice the fish from the market, to smash, smash garlic with the edge of a cleaver, to spin the tap for the cold water, to soak the bitter melon and suck it of its dry newspaper taste. Lily's hands wipe down the counters with lightning speed, piles buns soft with heat onto a plate. Lily's hands, hands dash sesame oil, soy sauce, ginger, into the steaming wok, which burns blush onto her cheeks. Lily's hands cube the tofu, cure the chicken feet, and wipe the stains from my auntie's toilet. Lily's hands tug at the edge of her t-shirt, making jokes in English, Tagalog, and Mandarin, pretending not to understand the arguments, pretending not to notice. Lily's hands massage my uncle's feet Loaded from a lifetime of a soldier's walk, she cracks, contorts, and twists his souls as he scowls, TV watching Stephen Chow, Gong Fu chop his way over a wall. Lily's hands cradle her cell phone to her ear to hear the voice of her husband in Ilo Ilo, the one that calls her mama and cracks on airmailed karaoke tapes of American love songs, American pop songs. Lily's hands rub acetone over fingernails and keep her fed in Ilo Ilo, Manila, Singapore, Taipei. From bitchy house mothers to wicked roommates, her fighting sisters and runaway friends, Lily's hands know how to work. Lily's hands ball into tiny fists as she pulls the blanket over her face on the cot in the back room next to the laundry machine because she has a good employer, my aunt. My aunt who doesn't rape, or beat, or stab, or cut her wages. My aunt who depends on her for her life. To keep her family together, as well as her kitchen. To make food for people who otherwise would never come. To give to an old woman who often forgets how to. Chanel, Gucci, plastic surgery, and golf. Lily's hands pray to the gods in the church, the wind, and the Filipino government. Smiling, she proclaims, I must fight. For so many stories she grips in these hands, so many challenges to the pulse. She knows she's going to be there when her contract is up with her man, her baby, her motorcycle, her house, her sugar factory, in Ilo Ilo, the day her hands can finally work for themselves. Mm -hmm.